Today we're going to be learning on how to install a mod pack to our server. Now the first thing you want to do is try and locate the server files for your mod pack. Now this is just a note that not all server mod packs will have server files already pre-configured for you to download, in which case you'll need to watch the other mod pack tutorial that you can be found on our channel. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to be installing the mod pack called FTP Sky Factory 3. So I'm going to go ahead and search that and I'm going to be taken to the top link here which will give me a list of the files for the mod pack. Now you can see here there's two options, there's the normal files for the normal pack and there's the server pack and I want the server pack so obviously I'm going to select server pack and then I'll be taken to a place where I can locate the server files. Now not all mod packs will have a page similar to this for example if I was to search up TechIt Classic you can see that I'd be taken to another page where I can download the server files on the right hand side here. So as I was saying the first step you want to do is go ahead and download the server files for your mod pack. So if I go ahead and download them now and I'm going to move them to a folder where I can easily find them and then I will be back. So I've already gone ahead and moved it to a folder where I know where it is and now I'm going to use a program called WinRAR to extract the files from the .zip file. You can install it from the link in the description if you wish or you can use Mac or any other operating system just to extract the files. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and press extract here which is then going to extract all the files into my folder here and I'm just going to quickly wait for this to finish and you'll see that I'm left with quite a few files. Now there's two important steps here, there's the FTP install batch file and there's the server start file. Now these are two different files and now most mod packs will come with these two files or something named similar like install server start or any of the above that will be similar to these names. Now depending on the operating system you want, you want to run two different files and since I'm on Windows here, I'm going to be running the FTP install one that's the batch file because I can run it on my computer. You can also now go ahead and delete the .zip file that you've just downloaded because you no longer need that. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this FTP install file which is then going to go ahead and install the mod pack to my computer. So now that I can see I've got the mod pack installed once that has closed down, I'm then going to check that my server can actually start up. And the way to do that is just to double click the server start file and you should see that it says something like that. In this case it says that I need to accept the EULA. So I'm just going to go ahead and change EULA to true here. And then I'm going to file and save it. Saved it. And then I'm going to exit and press server start again. And now you can see that the server now begins to launch and now I'm not going to wait here to see that the server launches entirely because as long as you get to the point where it starts loading all the mods then you should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this now because I can see that the server is now starting up and now the next part is we're going to have to upload this into my server. Now the way we're going to do this is using something called SFTP. If you don't know what that is then you can see the link in the description which will explain exactly how you connect to SFTP. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy in my details so I can connect to my SFTP to upload the files. So once I've connected to it I'm just going to simply come over here where I've located all the files and I'm going to want to upload them to my server. Now you don't have to upload any files or all the files here but you just easier you can just select all the folders if you want to only upload the files that you need upload all of these and you just want to upload these two files also and the eula.txt the rest of the files aren't really needed at this point and you can just skip them so i'm going to go ahead and upload these files and i'll be back once i've uploaded them so now you can see that I've uploaded all the files that I selected before because these are the only files that we should need to start the server. Now I'm going to go ahead and close down FileZilla and I'm going to head over to File Management where I can see all the files that I've just uploaded. Now I'm going to rename the FTP server, the Forge server file or any other file like techatlegends.jar or techatclassic.jar. Depending on the mod pack that you have uploaded, these files will be called different. The important one is you should see two jar files, minecraftserver.jar and the other the file called .jar. Now you don't want to ever rename this jar file, you always want to rename the other jar file. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it server.jar and just double check in my server settings quickly that it is named server.jar, which it is. And then I'm going to go ahead to my server and press start and we should see that my server is now going to begin to load up all the files for your server. Now this is exactly how you install any mod pack but as I've said there's a few key points that I just want to re-emphasize. 
is you must make sure that the server starts on your computer before you upload it to your server otherwise it will not work on your server you can do this by running the install files and running the start files to make sure it does start up before you upload it and the second point is to make sure you rename the jar file otherwise your server will not start this as i said the jar files are already different for different mod packs and if you are unsure about which one to rename, feel free to come to us and we will tell you exactly which one to rename so you can start your server. Now, I will be back once the server is started up and to show you a few more points. So now you can see that my server has successfully started up and you can see that all the files here have regenerated and everything is now generated that needs it to start. You can find all the mods here that you would need to upload if you wanted to add your own mods but we don't recommend this because it can cause issues compatibility wise and version wise but that is where you would do it thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video